this video is gonna be a little bit more of a story. Two years, we were on a pretty strict lockdown. A lot of our home tech and security conversations just froze. We weren't really traveling. We rarely left the house for any significant length of time. And investing in more IoT and home camera tech didn't seem like the best use of our cash. During the pandemic, we moved twice. And in that first move, we didn't even bother setting up our old Arlo cameras. But flash forward to today, and we're starting to take a few more baby steps out into the world. We're traveling a little bit more and going back to these cameras hasn't been great. This is not a buyer's guide or even a direct review, but a personal story of why we're going to replace our Arlo gear. While you're out there shopping a new doorbell or security camera, we really hope you're keeping up with all the work on reviews.org. We've covered a lot of this tech for your home, and hopefully the reviews and comparisons we published can save you some cash along the way. We really like our Arlo cameras. We bought in in the early days of the service, got a little three pack of the original Arlo Pros, you know, with a little hub that connects to your router. These were an absolute joy to use for their time. Battery powered, simple setup, magnetic wall mounts, long battery life. And back then the parent company, Netgear, was really generous in their cloud storage plans. Just buying the cameras and with no additional monthly fees, clips would be saved for up to seven days. This was perfect. We didn't have to manage a cloud storage account. We didn't have to have a subscription. And if something happened while we were out, we'd get the alert on the phone. And if it was serious, we had up to a week to download the clip. This felt like a totally reasonable balance of price, and perks. Well, about a year ago, we took a road trip and we needed a new doorbell. And it made sense to just buy a fancy camera doorbell. So we liked our Arlo's, we grabbed an Arlo video doorbell, and we couldn't recover our old account. That old plan we had, which supported up to five cameras with a week of cloud storage, it was totally gone. We'd already ordered the doorbell. I went ahead and set it up, installed it, and it came with a month long trial of the new Arlo subscription service. And that was fine for our road trip. We really didn't even need it for the full month. It was just such a bummer coming back from that road trip and then letting the trial expire because these cameras are really lame without any kind of storage. This is probably the effect of memory, but it just felt like the connection to the camera was significantly slower when we'd get an alert on our phone. The camera will take this little screenshot to send you as a notification, but it would take so long to connect the camera to the phone, you'd never be able to see what was happening near the time of getting the notification. The one time in our new neighborhood that I thought we had a package thief, I got this fast glimpse of a face near our camera in the notification. And before I could screenshot that, the camera started connecting and it wiped out that image. And then it took so long that if someone had actually stolen something off of our porch, I never would have been able to see it. I'm pretty sure that's when I got radicalized. I'm really less impressed with cloud storage plans these days. I could immediately fix our Arlo's by paying $120 a year to use our four cameras, three cameras and a doorbell. But what am I really paying for? I get to save hundreds of alerts of people walking by our cameras or the rose bush that blows in the breeze, I'd really be paying $120 a year on top of the price of buying some expensive cameras for these cameras to use my power and my internet connection to get a video clip of the moment something bad might happen, and I want that evidence. 120 bucks a year really just doesn't feel like a great deal to me. On this channel, we also recently reviewed the new Eufy doorbell and it's kind of piqued my curiosity in local video storage. On the Eufy cameras, you can play for an expanded cloud storage plan, but 16 gigabytes of local video storage can hold months of alerts. I can view or download those clips about the same as I might from the Arlo cloud storage. And Eufy hasn't been all roses either. I had to send back some Eufy cameras recently that totally failed on our last road trip. But the main benefit for me is still the same. More and more, I'm preferring local storage that I pay for once 
over a cloud storage plan that charges me monthly for the entire life of the product. And it's mandatory for the real operation of the product. So much so, I mean, I'm getting pushed. I'm strongly considering just going to a traditional business style camera and DVR setup. The pricing is not ridiculous these days, but I digress. I'll have to save that for another editorial on this channel. I'm just kind of bummed out about this. There are so many businesses trying to turn basic features into more expensive subscription plans. We can all have a laugh at BMW constantly trying to turn heated seats into a monthly subscription. But increasingly, we're hitting this business tactic across a number of other industries. I really liked Arlo. And I recommended them to a lot of family and friends because I thought that data plan was a good value and a fair way to use the product. Now, I don't think that's still the case. They're really not the right fit for our needs anymore. And I think a lot of consumers should start looking at modular security plans like Simply Safe for similar benefits to what you can get on an Arlo. Or conversely, some kind of dedicated hardware, I mean, if you're using your own data connection. And like I said at the top of this video, I don't want anyone to take this editorial as a purchasing recommendation or a product review for your needs, because it's not to say that Arlo can't be the right fit for what you need but I would highly recommend. And especially if you're on an older Arlo plan or you just moved over to the new Arlo Secure subscription, it's totally worth a few minutes of your time to shop around. Don't just price out some fancy cameras, add up all the costs, especially if you're planning on keeping them for a couple years. So of course we wanna hear from you because I'm probably wrong, <laughs> right? I'm sure there's some people out there who really dig their Arlo gear and this did end up being the right fit for your needs. We wanna hear from you. Also, are you on a home security plan? Do you pay for individual cameras? Or are you wanting to try local storage? Drop us some comments down below. Let's see if we can get into some fun conversations. As always, thanks so much for watching, for sharing these videos and subscribing to the channel. For reviews.org, I'm Juan Carlos Bagnell, AKA Some Gadget Guy, and I will catch you all on the next editorial.